Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about mixing software, more specifically my top five. Obviously there's more than five out there. Um, so we're going to go over my top five and a few honorable mentions. Okay, so let's start off by saying that this is in no way a comprehensive list as this video would probably take days if that was the case. This list will probably be best used for audio and video content creation and or live streaming. If you disagree with any of my ratings or listings, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you want to see how to use one of these in a little bit more in depth, uh, again, comment section below. So anyway, let's start off with the honorable mentions and then move on to the actual top five. First honorable mention, and uh, it has to go without saying, is your operating system on your computer, Mac, Windows, whatever OS, whatever computer you use are more than capable of being audio mixers and probably, and you probably already have one of these, so no need to buy hardware. Second mention is Go XLR mixing software. Uh, some of you will think that this device is, is dead along with its software, it's simply not the case. Um, I have a video about this uh, specific topic up in the corner. Anyway, honorable mention for that because they did have one of the best mixing softwares. Couldn't use it without the hardware, uh, but it is still one of the best. Uh, it's, it's on this list because of its age and usability at the moment. The last at the bottom of this list is the G-Hub Mixline Beta Software. So this is at the bottom of the list because it's not really a good software at the moment. It's still in beta. Um, it uses G-Hub. I don't know if you ever used G-Hub, but it's uh, Logitech's catch-all for, for their software. And, and, and it's usually, it's like they attempt to make everything convoluted. So... We'll, we'll relook at that one once it out of, comes out of beta and, and they get some of the, the, the issues with that fixed. Anyway, honorable mentions out of the way. Now let's get to the top five. So to give you some reference before we start this list, we'll be going from bottom to top. And I'll also have to mention that most of the software you will need to actually purchase each respective's hardware to, uh, to get them to work. Okay, so start, starting off with number five. Rhodes Software which is called Unify. Okay, so Rode Unify is a mixer that is, that is obviously used for Rode devices, and it will come included with one of their microphones or the Streamer X. Again, with, you know, it's gonna be standard in this list of buying hardware to get the software. If you wanna use this software without purchasing any of the hardware, um, you will need to pay them a monthly subscription. I think right now it's $4.99 or $5.99 a month is what it's gonna cost you. It's at number five for the layout and how some of the features were implemented and some of the features that are missing. Examples of the layout is not being able to take out sound pad sounds on some of the submixes, as you can see here. And for features missing, it would be the ability to lock in your audio settings. This is software can sometimes reset your mixes, especially if you have like a Windows update or something like that, uh, it can totally wreck your, your mix and your submixes and just reset everything. So pros and cons, right? So with number four, we have voice meter. Okay, so this one probably needs no introduction. Everyone has seen this probably at this point, and it, uh, it was around way before any of the others on this list, but still sits at number four because of its ease of use. If you put the time into getting to know Voice Meter, it's an awesome software and it can do a lot, and, and a lot of the stuff that it does, some of the other mixers can't do, or at this point they can do, they just do it a little bit more intuitively. Best part about the software is it's free, unless you wanna add some virtual cables to it and, and some other things which you'll have to pay for, but you can use it without any extra hardware. You just use it on your PC and, and, and whatnot. Again, best part of the software is that there's no extra hardware needed and, and it's free. You will obviously need a PC to get it to work. Big win for me is that a lot of the, you can send a lot of the audio stuff over a network so that audio functionality. Anyway, my network geek is showing. Let's look into number three. Number three, you'll know this name and software as soon as I say it, Elgato and their Wavelength software. So again, the current theme in this is buying the hardware to get the software. So you'll need to purchase one of their microphones or the Stream Deck Plus to use the software, but you can use any audio device with this software along with being able to use VSTs. I really don't have much in the way of bad things to say about this software. It's, it's just really one of the best on the market. It really kind of has to be with Elgato's ecosystem and, and all the stuff that they built around or inside of their ecosystem. They just, they just have to be flawless on most of their stuff. Anyway, only con for this is I wish they would let you use it without 
actually buying a, a piece of the hardware, but from a, a software developer standpoint, I understand why they're doing it. They want to have their stuff utilized on their hardware. So that being said, let's go to number two. Number two is the Mackie Matrix software. It's kind of a newcomer into this space. You probably never heard of them because they're, it's a newcomer into this space. You can use it with Mackie products, more specifically the Mackie Mainstream, which is a new product, link in the description and link up there. Now, why does this get the number two spot if it's new software and it's still in beta? Well, one, it's not tied to any kind of hardware, and two, because of the freedom the software gives you. Even though it's in beta, it gives you a lot of virtual devices uh, that you can add to your submixes. It's intuitive, it gives you the ability to use all of the equipment Again, without purchasing anything, the, the virtual devices and the extra virtual devices you, you can add to it is like a big win. Uh, they give you a lot more than any of the others on this list, and I'm kind of looking forward to what they're going to do this software before they actually get it into or get it out of beta. So that's number two. Okay, so we're at the top of this list. Uh, the number one slot goes to Beacon and their mixing software. Again, you have to buy their hardware, that being a Beacon Mix, Beacon Mix Create, or the Beacon Mic to be able to use the software. But in my opinion, if you're not using a physical mixer of any sort, then this is the best way to go. The software and the hardware checks all the boxes, ease of use, the ability to save different profiles. You're able to stop Windows from changing your audio for an update. It's always checking for that. It allows for you to use all your audio equipment into one device. Uh, I mean, it allows you to do to mix all of your audio device into one mixing software. And, and the list for this can just go on and on. Okay, so there is my top five mixing software list. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you were to make a list, would you have put some of this in different spots or not put this in the list at all? Again, comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. Again, thanks for watching. Remember to do all that YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one.